I'm talking. No. Which I, no, I'm talking. Yes, I am. No, 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 no. Because if you're going to cause a problem, you're going to need to leave. What's the problem here? What's the problem? What is going on, folks? Will Turbin here. Auditing America, fake Mike, real news. We're here with CPR artist, Murder Man Mysteries, Ohio State Capitol. We got a symbol of fascism right here. Let's see if they respect their rights or a bunch of red coat fascists. So guys, Hello. how are we doing today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. good. Guys, watch sports. What's that? Guys, uh, watch sports. Okay. No. Look, this is not the mug you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. Yes. Could you tell us what your favorite team or, or sport is? I like mixed martial arts. Nice. What about you? I'm a Browns girl. Browns. But, I mean, we live in Columbus, so we kind of kind of support our Buckeyes. Got it. Now, <laughs> one last question before we get going. What's that? Can you tell us what the Third Amendment is? No. You don't want to be watching this. No, it's okay. What, you don't know it? It's okay. You don't know it? Huh? You don't know it? I mean, I know, I know a list of them. No, okay. That's good. But what about the third? I'm not, I'm not going to be on camera for you on that dude. What about you, sir? Okay, what are you trying to, what are you trying to do well, here? What we're trying to do is we want to make sure that the Constitution is upheld. Mm -hmm. You know, people gave blood, sweat, and tears for that. People died for it. We just want to make sure that when people take a sacred oath, they actually know where they're taking that off too. For example, right behind us, there's a Fourth Amendment violation. The Fourth Amendment, as you may or may not know, says you have the right to be secure in your person's papers and effect, and that no unreasonable search or seizure shall occur. And you guys ever been to the New Hampshire State House? I know. Live free or die. This doesn't exist. Okay. The, the, this guy's job, uh, we can have him doing something more productive than waiving people's rights on their way. And we just know that uh, uh, we wanna we wanna know that you're that, you, that you're uh, educating yourself as much uh, on the Constitution as much as you guys and uh, and everybody likes sports. That's why we're like okay, so everybody loves sports, but does everybody uh, know our rights here in, in America? Because we couldn't have the sports if we didn't have the freedom to have those, and also, uh, you know, unfortunately, people know more about sports than. And they'll yell and scream at the, the TV. But then also we have a Second Amendment violation here too, because I know you can't bring any firearms here, right? Too. So how do you feel about working at a post where you're constantly told to do the opposite of your own? I don't know. We're not supposed to be talking about stuff like that. If you yeah. want to ask these kind of questions, you're supposed to talk to our supervisor. How come you have that rule that makes you not want to talk about not, stuff like that? Not, we don't want to. Supposed yeah. to. Well, I would respectfully counter you. We're, we're, here, here, to, if you're, we're here to make sure the people in this building are safe. Actually, sir, your job is to make our, our freedom safe. You took an oath to uphold our freedoms. As yes. Benjamin Franklin said, those who would sacrifice liberty for temporary security deserve and will get neither. And that's the point of what we're trying to say. When you take that oath, you are, it's not, you're not just leaving it up to your supervisor. You have to take, you're taking that oath upon yourself. Your supervisor is not taking that oath. You're taking that oath to uphold our Bill of Rights. And then when we come in here, our Bill of Rights is immediately violated. Don't you see the hypocritical irony in this paradox? I don't see it because I'm keeping the people in here safe. You have the okay. Well, you're, what about the Constitution? Sure. No, your job, is, your job is to protect the Constitution. Did you swear an oath? That's all we give you. Yeah, you guys didn't swear an oath to the building. Yes, we do. No, you don't. You're taking oath to the Constitution. I'm telling you what I signed up to do. What, what was what, what oath was that? Protect life and property. And what, that's what, my job here. And what was the name of that oath that you took? I, that's not an oath. That's what I signed up to do. I know. Do. Okay, okay. And, that, and that's fine if that's your main uh, goal. But the uh, the policy of your job says that you're the most important thing that Appreciate that you need to that you need. They have no clue. They have no clue what we're. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're, we're more worried about uh, you guys because, you know, you, you're the one that's uh, right here uh, upholding our, our rights, and you don't know the Third Amendment, correct? Do you know yes, it? Yes, I do. Which one and is I'm it? I'm not. Oh, what is it? What did I tell you my job was? That's all I'm doing today. No, literally your job, what you get paid to do is uphold the Constitution. That's why America is a different country than other countries. Oh, okay. Because people gave blood, sweat, and tears and died for the Constitution. That which makes America a free place as opposed to somewhere like North Korea. Because they don't have a Bill of Rights. And that's why you go through the entire process of swearing before God and your countrymen 
that you protect our rights. So and you may and have signed not... up to save people, but then you should have been uh, a nurse or a firefighter or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because the job of a police officer, they don't take an oath to save people. That's firefighters and EMTs. You take an oath to uphold our rights, because if we don't have rights, we don't have freedoms. What happened to ancient Rome? Everybody knew about sports, bread and circus, and then the society collapsed. So your literal job, which you literally get paid to do, which you took an oath to do, is to protect our constitutional rights. And as we walk in this building, we have several of them violated. So it's not really about what well, you're supervising rights. You can voluntarily come in. No, no, sir, well, you, this you is how we have to come in. We are not forcing you. We're but not forcing but you, you guys so are searching everybody. If, if you're going to ask me questions, no, if, you want, if, questions. You, if you want to do stuff, let, let, me, let me respond. Let him speak. Let me respond. Go ahead, sir. Okay. You can come in. It's, you don't have to be searched. But if you don't get searched, you can't come in. So we are not forcing you to get searched. How is this different than a public sidewalk? This is the state house. We have so it's a public it's a public area, correct? Yes. So what's the difference between the state house and a sidewalk? We have people in here that other people want to harm. What do you so, mean? Senator, do you have any reps. credible? Are there bad do you have credible? People? Do you have credible information that would support that theory? Yes. What what type of input tell? That is sense of information that isn't. Okay, sir. Well, that that could be the case. Let me say let me say something. If if that's the case. You guys are police officers. You're supposed to make proper investigation. investigation. You don't investigate everybody. On no, the one hand, you are because uh, what about our Fourth Amendment? I, what if I don't want to put my bag through through there? Then you don't. You don't have, you well, that's 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 the that's the, there, that's the thing. You can't bring it in. Well, that's you can take your bag. That's out the thing. Your this you is a publicly. Take your bag, you can take your bag out to the car. But this is a publicly accessible area, and you guys have no authority to to tell us what we can bring here or what we can't. As I just told you, America was based on the idea that those that would sacrifice freedom for temporary security will deserve and get neither. That's literally what our founding fathers wrote. So what you guys are doing right now is putting the security over an elite group of people, elected officials, over the rights of the people who employ those. Those people, are, like yourself, are public servants. They work for us. Because they work for us, they actually enjoy less privileges and less rights than the general public. And you're, telling me, you're telling me a bunch of... Uh, Elite politicians now have their security trumps our rights. Is that what you're telling us? No. Okay, so then we don't need to be searched to come in here. We can't have our Second Amendment in here. Yes, you. Okay, great. You have to have your your bags searched. There's nothing in the Constitution that says they can take their bags into the state house. What's the Fourth Amendment? You still haven't answered any of your questions. You have to. You guys work for us. You don't I have see. to answer yeah. any of your questions. Yes, yes, well, you, yes, you do. Can, 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 if if you want. Uh, a statement, you need to contact our supervisors. Well, we want because a statement from we, you. You guys get we, statements from everybody where, we, everywhere you go, right? No. Voluntary, yeah, statements. voluntary statements. Okay, well, this is, uh, we're, really we're, we're requesting a statement from you because you guys are, are, are at work. We're not giving a voluntary statement. Well, we're, we're, we're about your job, like what you're paid to do. Okay? Yep. You're talking about, you talking about, you're talking about, you're talking about, you're talking about, you're talking about, you, no, that's not what your job is. That's what you signed up for. That's different. Exactly. I, I could sign up. For you don't get to choose to what you do while you. I did. What... I signed up and I chose. What okay, I did. but everywhere you work for, there's rules that you have to follow. That's exactly. Correct. You guys and are that's all why about. You have to be searched before you come in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you're not understanding is the rules that you didn't bother to read that you signed up for actually strictly prohibit this. But if you would have taken a moment to actually read the rules, so which you question. did not, I'm talking. No, which I did not. I'm talking. Yes, I am. No, 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 no. Because if you're going to cause a problem, you're going to What's the problem, What's the problem here? Problem? What's the problem? Specifically, the you're come specifically. In or just you're because. Not. Listen, let me ask you something. No, it's my turn, please. You're talking about problem. Just because we disagree doesn't mean there's a problem. Yeah. Just no one is. By the way, we're not, uh, You don't need to uh, cause a disturbance because I see that you got you. You know, you got your hand and you kind of like got a little. You said problem. No one here has a problem. The only one that that I'm we're we're peacefully we are peacefully protesting. Your Fourth Amendment violation right here. We're peacefully protesting the fact that you don't know the Third Amendment. You say you know it, but you don't know it. If you did, you'd say. By the way, I'm you have thousands. You questions. have thousands watching, so you would. If it's in your best interest, interest to answer that question to this oh, camera right here. Support answer any questions. We don't have to Why do I need to take you to here. court? I'm saying that's the only time I have to answer any questions. No, you, you actually, you you decided to be a public servant, ma'am. You decided to be a public servant. So what part yeah. of that don't you understand? I still don't have to answer your questions. Okay. Why not if we're speaking about the most important document from your job, the, 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 the basics of your job? Huh. Why? Because I don't have to. Okay, so yeah, you do. Then, then you don't have, then, then you're not qualified for the job. Oh. 
You're not. Did you know that if enough of us get together, we can get you out? Real quick. Real quick. If enough of us. If enough of us. What do you do here? I work as a trooper. Cool, man. What's your favorite sports team? What's your, what's your favorite sports team? All time player? I don't know. No? Okay. What are you guys here for? I'm, we're, we're pop quizzing people. What's the Third Amendment? Pop quizzing. Pop quizzing. See if they know their job. Third Amendment. Told yeah, that's because you don't know it. With us, yes. here we go. We have a public affairs. Here we go. You guys are making yourself look really bad. Why don't we don't answer questions, ma'am? Thousands are watching you right now. You don't care? Well, it, guys, make sure, guys, guys, make sure that you guys peacefully and lovingly call the Ohio State Capitol on Officer State Patrol. It's trooper. Whatever it is, whatever it is, Boyer. I'm sorry. Well, we we well uh, we have a lot of agency, sir. Why are you trying to be funny? You're here trying to cause problems. Oh, problems! Here we go, problems. What are you trying to say? You trying to say we're being disorderly or something? No, I'm saying okay. coming in here with a camera in our face. In your face? Uh, well, I'm recording your face. And your face would be like real close to you, like you guys get towards people. I'm not doing that. Look, we have enough space right here. Camera in my face would sound terrible at court if you write it down, right? Or in a statement, it would sound terrible at court. Until, of course, we make it to trial and we show our videos and then we prove a lot of cops lying. Wait, wait, tap back in. Sure. So we came here, we asked questions. They were able to engage with us about support. We asked them about their job, then they got mad. They said, Problems. we care about our rights, and then, then they proceeded to not tell us about our rights. And then, in not knowing the second, third, and fourth amendments, now this woman almost attempted to arrest us for expressing our first amendments. She, she got, you, you tried to intimidate me for yeah. expressing my first amendment. So we're in the people's building. The people's building and the people that work for us don't know their job and are trying to harm us. Not just your building, the people's building. Collectively. And this is what the people want. The people want security when they come in. No, this is what you want. No, this is what the people want. Really? When, not, did the people, right. when did the people vote on this? Okay. When did, the when, when, did the when did the people vote and say that they didn't want to be safe when they came well, in here? Well, you have to pass you, something in order for it to you don't, you don't get to retroactively do something and then... And, then and they say, well, that's what they wanted. You understand the three branches of government? Yes. Okay, so you understand that the legislative branch would have to go ahead and pass a law in order for this to occur, right? No. no? Yes, because we have rights. You guys... <laughs> because you're law enforcement, right? Is that right? Let's go on for a quick tour. Casey, I encourage you to, to learn the Third Amendment and the entire Bill of Rights, the entire um, con I, Constitution, before you're going to swear to protect something. You know? Never, How can we believe that you're going to protect that life if you, don't even, if you don't even know our rights? Okay. There you go. Didn't say that, but... Well... Yeah. Here, here goes our Fourth Amendment. Anything 